on today's video, um, I'm going to be sharing with you just a few guidelines on how to get yourself an editing agent. And I'm doing this video because I do get a couple of DMs now and again of people asking me how they can get into the editing space. And honestly, the first step, you know, that you can do for yourself is actually to get an acting agent. So this video, I'm going to be sharing with you, you know, guidelines in terms of how to get yourself an acting agent. I'm not going to be telling you um, top 10 best agents. I'm not going to be naming, you know, agencies and things like that. I'm not going to be spoon feeding you. That's exactly it. I'm not going to tell you this agent is the best. This agent is not so the best. Like I'm not going to be sharing with you that kind of information. I'm just sharing with you just guidelines in terms of, you know, how you can get yourself to getting an acting agent that will be best for you. So let's get right into it, shall we? Um, I think the first thing that you need to do in terms of, you know, being on your way in finding an, an agent that works best for you, I think you need to go to Google, go to Google and type top 10 best agencies in South Africa or in Johannesburg. And then obviously you will see a whole list of whatever comes up. And for me, I think, you know, once you start going through all of these websites that you are going to be finding on the internet i think one thing that you need to look at in terms of having to check credibility more than anything to check the agency's credibility i think you need to go to the talent page you know see what kind of talent they have and if you see you know one or two or three um you know people that you have seen on your screens a couple of times then you know when it comes to the agency's credibility it is there you know, it exists and they've been doing the work and they've been getting, you know, their talent jobs. And um, yeah, I think that's just how you need to go about it. When you click on those agencies, just look at the talent and see, you know, how many experience do they have in terms of having an agency? Like who owns the agencies and how many years have they been in the game? Because there's just a whole lot of fly by night. And um, yeah, people are just out here looking for a quick bag. And um, yeah, just don't get sucked in. You know in terms of you know getting too desperate just take your time look for an agency that's best suited for you once you're done researching all these agencies choose the top three that you feel like you know what they might have something that i you know i might work with then um yeah you will find their details on their website and then you know just get to the emailing part and even if you don't choose the top three you can email all of them if you want to you know just try a luck i mean the worst they can say is like you know no we're not looking for anybody at the moment, but yeah, choose your top three and then let's get to the email etiquette part when it comes to actually emailing the agent that you're interested in, you know, having a relationship with. So we are getting to the email etiquette part. You found an email address on the website and um, you want to email them. A lot of people, a lot of people don't have this thing called email etiquette. Like people, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what's this thing in the air that we have in this world in South Africa that people can't exactly type, you know, a good email. I mean, it doesn't even have to be brilliant. Like, you don't have to have good English. But just, just have email etiquette, like manners. Like, just have manners when, you know, sending an email to a recipient. Because, I mean, there's nothing as annoying as reading a terrible written email like there's nothing as off-putting as you know that and i just feel like people need to learn how to write good emails like if you don't know how to put together a good email like we have google has everything guys google has everything so just go to google type how to type a proper email and then you get what you need because people just get away with not you know um having a subject on the email not saying you know hi Bute or dear Bushe, or if you don't know who you're talking to, to whom it may concern. Like people just don't greet, they don't leave the subject, they just get to the point, say, I'm looking to be an actor, and then full stop, that's just about it. That's, that's the email. Because I remember someone once sent me an email that literally said, I want to be an actor. And I'm like, I'm just an actor myself. How, how do you want my help? How do you want me to help you? How do you want me to assist? Like, what are you looking for? You want to be an actor? Okay, should I take a wild stab in the dark, you know, in terms of knowing exactly what you want from me because I can't help you if you're not telling me what you want from you. So email etiquette is important. Like it shows respect, it shows good manners. It just shows, you know, it shows good manners more than anything. So in terms of email etiquette, let's start with the subject. If, 
you're looking for an agent i think the best thing you can type on the subjects don't leave the subject empty just type looking for an acting agent it's a good start you don't have to think hard about what you need to write on your subject page just just type looking for an acting agent because that's what you're looking for at the moment and then you get to the body part of the email and then when it comes to the body if you don't know who you're talking to if you don't know the recipient that's going to be reading the email because it didn't say on the website it probably said info at buhlemelezane.com so info you don't know who could be reading that email at that time so if you don't know who you're going to be talking to don't just write hi I feel like this dude, like people who write hi, like hi who, like hi who, hi who, I don't know, I just feel like it's rude, so don't write hi, personally I just think you shouldn't write hi, so I think the easiest thing you can write is, since you don't know who you're talking to, just write to whom it may concern, and then you continue with you know, I trust this email finds you well. My name is Bootle Mulitane. I am 30 years of age and I'm based in Johannesburg. I am currently looking for an acting agent that will represent me because I am an inspiring actor or actress. And um, I'm hoping that, you know, you could be, you know, you could help me in that regard. And then that's just about it. You don't have to write a long email, you know, a whole thesis in terms of why you're looking for an agent. It's just, you know, get to the point you're looking for an agent that's going to represent you and um, yeah, really, that's just about it. And then, you know, you ended off with um, PC attached to my images. I look forward to your positive response. That's it. That's it. And the kind of pictures that you need to send um, the recipient that's going to be reading the email, like don't send pictures of you taking, you know, taken at, you know, at a mall or at a party no don't take any of those like don't take pictures that have a lot going on when it comes to the background nobody wants to see this curtain nobody wants to see this mirror nobody wants to see this little pretty flower at the back nobody wants to see any of that just find you know a blank background white or any other color it doesn't matter as long as it's blank and as long as there's not too much going on in the background just find a space where it's plain and simple so that you can take you know a picture two or three pictures a full body and a headshot that's all they need because they just really want to see how you look like they don't need to be perfect but they need to look decent at the end of the day so just take a headshot and a full picture and then you send your pictures and then you know you just hope for the best after that and then if they do happen to respond to your email um yeah it's because they liked what they saw and then from then onwards um it's just a matter of them wanting to meet up with you because in them meeting up with you it's like pretty much like an interview so they just want to gauge how you like and what exactly are you looking for what do you want to achieve in this space in this acting space in this industry and then yeah they'll pretty much after that conversation that they've had with you then they'll decide if they want to sign you or not um if they don't want to sign you as yet um it could be maybe you're not ready i don't know there's just a whole lot of things um, that they look for there's just a whole lot of layers that I might know of when it comes to having to join an agency um, And in some cases they might not you know sign you because they already have someone that looks like you in their books and um, Yeah, that's always the case um, in In every agency if there's someone if someone who looks like me wants to join the agency that I'm part of um, they kind of like not gonna sign her because they already have a me so yeah that's just how it works unfortunately but uh, more than anything they just look at if you're ready to actually you know be in this acting space and if you're groomed enough yes they might see the potential but there's just so many layers man that i might that i'm actually not even sure but i know that there's just so many things that they look at before they actually sign you so yeah, that's just about it in terms of how to find yourself an acting agency um i hope i shared enough important details especially in terms of knowing how to approach 
you know an acting agent so that you can get the response that you're looking for so yeah man good luck in terms of finding an agency that will work best for you and um yeah i hope you find what you're looking for and i hope you're in it for the right reasons more than anything because if you're not in it for the right reasons then of course eventually it's gonna show itself and um yeah you're not gonna last you're basically not gonna last in this industry so um yeah i hope my information helped and if you're looking for me to tell you top 10 best agencies uh no i'm not the girl um you also need to do the work if you really want this then you have to actually put in the work in terms of having to find yourself an acting agent so i'm not gonna do the dirty work for you. I'm